how does Bermuda grass look? <laughs> well, if there were only one type of Bermuda grass, that, that would be an easy question to answer, but uh, we actually carry two different types of Bermuda grass. But I think when most people ask that question, uh, I would think the, the common Bermuda grass is what just comes up natively along the Gulf Coast. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, it's the one that produces a seed head uh, that comes up and has, I think, usually like three little prongs that, that, that come out and all those are little bitty seeds along there and those seeds blow in the wind and common Bermuda grass is the grass that comes up everywhere. Uh, it's the one you can, the one grass I know of you can buy a seed to and put in your yard uh, and it, it'll germinate. But common Bermuda grass, in our opinion, is ugly. It is stringy and coarse and doesn't get real thick and dense like people want in their yard, so we don't carry it. Uh, it's got its place for sure. Uh, we don't believe that it's in a residential application. We carry Tex Turf Bermuda and Tifway 419. There are a whole host of other Bermuda grasses. The Tifway 419 is the one that you see on fairways uh, of golf courses. Uh, the Tex Turf is also a, a good grass. It was derived from common Bermuda grass, uh, so I'd say it's a close cousin of it, but it's denser. Uh, it's, there's finer leaves, you can mow it shorter and have it look a lot nicer than common Bermuda. It doesn't produce the, the seed heads that common Bermuda grass does uh, that look kind of ugly after, after you don't mow for four or five days. Uh, it's, it's, it's certainly got its place on sports fields and whatnot. Uh, but a lot of these grasses are, depending on how you take care of them, you can make a lot of them look, look really good. If you're, if you're mowing once a week at least. Uh, Bermuda grasses we recommend, especially the Tiff way. We recommend people during the real growing season, let late spring through summer, they mow about every four or five days because if you cut too much of Bermuda grass off, uh, only the top section of it is, uh, is green, the top third of it say, the bottom two thirds is brown stem. So you cut off too much of the green growth. Uh, not only does it look ugly, but you've stressed the grass a lot as well. And you can kill it if you don't follow it up with some good water after cutting it off too short. So during the growing season, you really have to stay on top of that mowing. But the way a golf course and sports fields that are well manicured, any well manicured area, the, the way they do that is with, uh, they're, they're mowing more frequently, they're watering more frequently, and they're fertilizing more frequently. They're putting in all three of those inputs, and you can make, if you're doing that and have the time and um, money to dedicate to, to that, you can, uh, you can have a front yard that looks like carpet, just like a golf course, if, if you do that not feasible again for most homeowners but if you mow it a couple times a week that and, and water it once or twice a week uh, you can really thicken it up and make it look nice uh, but common bermuda grass uh, we don't carry it and uh, we don't think that it has a residential application at least in this part of of the world uh, doesn't have a have a, a great place i guess it's got its benefits but uh, there's a lot of better options out there